so how will i calculate the area of the triangle so i'll have the base so i'll call it b and i'll have the height so if you think about it how the area of the triangle was uh, uh, the how the formula was generated was that uh, it was uh, assumed that let's have a complete uh, rectangle and once we have the rectangle we can calculate the area as b multiplied by h and because it's a triangle we can cut it into half and that will be the area of the uh, triangle so it is relatively easy to calculate the area of triangle this way right however uh, the world is not perfect and a lot of things don't have always the perfect geometry right so now what will happen if i have something like that and now i need to calculate the area of this object so can i use the same kind of formula no i have to come up with some other strategy and what that strategy is i would have to use the calculus and uh, this concept is very important because once you learn this concept you can uh, this is the fundamental uh, uh, approach uh, and uh, you can do most of the calculation this way uh, so what i'll do is in this case i will assume a very small strip so when i zoom into that strip that strip will look more like like this right so i'll assume that strip and i'll i'll make it so tiny small small that if i'm looking at uh, y here or y here there will be not much of a change so when the y is not changing between this point and this point i can assume this to be equivalent to a rectangle now what is the height of this rectangle because the y is here and here are same so this is y and this is dx why call it a dx is because this is a very small strip very small uh section so i'll call it dx so now the area will be equal to y into dx right uh so this is the area so what i need to do i need to keep adding all of the strips so i'll take another strip here like that so i'll divide everything into very very small tiny strips and uh, i have to assume that the strips are so small or the dx is so small that the y will not change when i go from x1 to x2 or like so if i can call this one as x1 and this is x2 then this will not come much farther so if i do that then i can add all of them so so how do i add all of them so i'll call this as summation of uh summation of y and dx and because it's going and x could be equal to uh 0 to x right so because it's uh, going tiny so instead of that we use a small another symbol like this so 0 to x y dx so this is uh, what the purpose of the calculus is uh so if uh, i go back to the triangle so this is the triangle again and uh, now uh again if i want to calculate the area of the triangle using this approach then i can say that here so this is y and this is x so for this line y is equal to x or or y is equal to 2x maybe so i can call it uh, ax so a is constant so a is constant so now in this case uh, how will i calculate i'll do this uh, i'll say y dx and uh, suppose x is going from uh, 0 to x then i can call it 0 to x and this is the area 
now if i do that then uh, i can write that as a x dx 0 to x and then answer will be equal to uh, a x square divided by 2 or it will be equal to a x square divided by 2 now what is a y here so y is equal to uh, so if I am looking at this one this y is equal to a so a small a into x because I am assuming this to be x and uh, sorry, capital X and this is a x because this is the equation right so uh, to calculate this y I have to replace this x by capital X so this will be equal to y into x divided by 2 so it's the same thing uh, so when we are talking about calculus uh, so suppose uh, uh, if I'm uh, looking at a car so the car is uh, uh, moving on the road right and uh, then if the car is going at a constant speed so the speed is suppose velocity is like v and uh, time is t so now i can say that distance is equal to v into t so that's a simple case right but how about if the car is slowing down if the car is slowing down then v is not constant so v is a variable so then i'll say that v is the function of time so v is equal to function of a time so then I'll say that distance needs to be calculated using dt and integration. So that's how I'll calculate the distance in this case. Because if I, I can do the same case, I can draw uh, time here and I can draw velocity here. And the velocity will be like this because car is slowing down randomly but whatever the area would be that area would be equal to v into t and that will represent the distance right so distance will be calculated this way uh, same way uh, work done or uh, uh, free energy and a lot of calculations are need to be done this way because one of the variable could be one of the uh, one or both of them could be the uh, variable instead of being a constant number so i hope uh, this uh, video help and uh, you learned something about calculus and uh, uh, please subscribe for more videos uh, from uh, our channel thank you bye